练，准，练，上，练，准，上，上，准。Uh, this is this is a sport that's most commonly found in the suburbs, right? Or, um, you know, predominantly white neighborhoods. You know, it's not normally found in uh, the majority minority neighborhoods. And so I think, um, you know, Southside obviously being majority African American communities, um, I would say seven years ago it probably wasn't a need for multiple tennis facilities. Right, and it probably still isn't, right? But there's a need for at least one, right? There's enough, we've, we've grown this market enough. We've created a huge amount of interest with the success of our kids um, that, you know, there's, there's a legitimate case that there needs to be a world-class facility on the South Side to support the success that we've had and the opportunity in the future. And we're really trying to identify uh, talent early. Uh, and the earlier the better. So, you know, this is somewhat of a skilled sport. It's not really a sport that requires uh, a high level of athleticism. You know, so if the kids can get exposed to the skill early, then you can almost guarantee that they'll be a collegiate level athlete, uh, which is ultimately the goal, to get more uh, minorities to get scholarships to college. This really hasn't been the sport of the best athletes. You know, the best athletes play sports like basketball, football. Um, but this is one of the sports where a kid that doesn't make one of those teams can come out here and just commit to the process and be in control of their own destiny. When you look at the South Side, it's, you know, this isn't the, this isn't the part of town where you have a lot of stay-at-home moms um, with nannies, right? Um, these are the kids that have two working parents or one working parent in a single family home or in a single parent home and the parent doesn't get off work until 5 o'clock. And so between the hours of three and five, you kind of got two hours there where the kid, you know, probably has a little bit too much freedom. Uh, and so that's when all the incidences happen. So that's the void that we try to fill. Uh, you got a working class family whose parents work till five, we try to keep them there till five. And after that, the kid can make their way home or the parent can pick them up. Um, and so it just decreases the amount of time where, you know, something accidental can happen. We also want to get kids just to meet kids from other neighborhoods. So we get kids from Roseland coming in, kids from Woodlawn coming in, and they're sharing the same interests in tennis, right? And so now you're kind of building a little bit of network outside of your neighborhood. Because uh, there are a large amount, a large number of these kids on the South Side that really don't travel outside of their neighborhood. So that's, that's one of the goals of the program. Um, I, I, stay, I stay current with the music. So, you know, when the kids come in, the iPods, and then I, I pull out their earbud and I recite, recite the rap with them or recite the song with them. Obviously, I, I love to stay at home with my wife and kid and just watch movies and put on my onesie. You know, I'm, people who know me know I'm famous for my onesie. You know, so I go home, I take a shower, I put on my onesie pajamas with the feet in it, right? The feet and the full zipper. And, <laughs> and I sit in front of the television.